morning, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining us here at Hope Lutheran Church in Twin Lakes for our preschool Sunday school class. Uh, this week, we have talked about giving thanks to God. And I have a picture right here, and I want to show it to you. It shows you God's people, and they are gathering a type of bread. It's called manna. That is called manna. You can say that with me, manna. It's a type of bread that God provided for his people when they were wandering in the desert. They needed food, they needed water, and God sent them bread called manna, meat and water, and they gave thanks to God. God gave them exactly what they needed. Now where do we learn about God's people? Where do we learn this story? We learn it from the Bible. Remember the Bible, B-I-B-L-E, and the Bible is God's word. Everything in here is true. When we read the Bible, we read the stories like this. And we want to learn a Bible verse today, a verse right out of our Bible that tells us about this. And it's a verse for us too. 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter is a verse in here. God cares for you. That's a nice, simple verse, isn't it? But it's a good reminder how God cares for us. Can you say that with me? God cares for you. What a beautiful verse. Um, can you think of things that we need? What are things that we need? We talked, we need food. We need water, just like God's people when they were in the desert. We need clothing to wear to keep us warm and dry. Um, if it's cold outside and raining, we need a house to live in. Those are all things that we need, and those are things that God gives to us. Even, we have many blessings, our pets. We've talked about this. Many of us have kitties and puppies and even other animals at our house. Those are blessings from God. We give thanks to God for that. Coming up in just a couple of days is a holiday called Thanksgiving. Most people eat turkey on Thanksgiving, but that's a holiday coming up. And on that day, we always remember to give thanks to God. But here's something very, very important. Don't have Thanksgiving one day a year. No, give thanks to God every day, not just Thanksgiving, the holiday. It's very, very important to thank God for everything because God gives you things every day, not just one day. Um, can, you, can you stand up? We did a little exercise and the kids follow me. Okay, let's see if you can do this with me. Thank you, God. I'm going to follow my words so I don't mess it up. Thank you, God, for the food we eat and rub your tummy. Thank you, Lord, for flowers so sweet. Can you sniff? And they rhyme, too, rhyming words. Thank you, Lord, for beds where we can sleep. Thank you, Lord, for legs to leap. Jump. But be careful. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Thank you, God, for loving us so dear. You can hug yourself. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus here. Thank you, God, for everything you do. Thank you, God, we love you too. And that's fun to do. We had a lot of fun doing that. We did a song to help remind us about being God's thankful children. I will sing it for you, and I'll bet you're going to recognize the tune. Let's see if you know it. Now, let's see how Miss Dawn can sing by herself. If you're God's thankful children, clap your hands. If you're God's thankful children, clap your hands. For you know that he cares, and he's with us everywhere. If you're God's thankful children, clap your hands. Then we can do if you're God's thankful children, stomp your feet, boom, boom. If you're God's thankful children, stomp your feet, boom, boom. For you know that he cares and he's with us everywhere. If you're God's thankful children, stomp your feet, boom, boom. 
If your God's thankful children shout hooray, hooray! If your God's thankful children shout hooray, hooray! For you know that he cares and he's with us everywhere. If your God's thankful children shout hooray, hooray! Oh, we have such fun doing that, singing songs. Um, we sing another song because that this other song will remind us to be thankful to God every day of the year, not just Thanksgiving. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. We sang that today too. We have so much fun singing. I'm so glad that you're with us. Um, let's have our closing prayer and then Miss Courtney is going to show you children the crafts that we can do that are just beautiful. They were a lot of fun. So Miss Courtney's going to show you those in just a second, okay? Let's have our closing prayer. Dear God, we do thank you for everything that you give to us. Help us to remember to always thank you. And most of all, thank you for Jesus, who you sent to save us. We love you, God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am Miss Courtney, and I am going to show you the crafts we did today. So we are obviously thankful for everything God has made for us in this world and given us and everything we see. And a lot of things that we see around Thanksgiving and fall are beautiful leaves everywhere, all different colors. So we are going to capture those and make sure we can draw them and hang them up in our house. So, how we do that is you go and grab some leaves from anywhere, from your yard, from the park. Just grab beautiful colored leaves, okay? And what we're gonna do is you take your paper and you put your leaf right behind the paper, okay? And where that leaf is, as you can see, we're gonna take crayons and turn them sideways. And all you do is shade your, your leaf and now you have a beautiful, beautiful leaf that you can hang up and be thankful for. Alright, and our next craft we're going to do today is the lovely what we're thankful for. Now you can make your own bookmark at home and color whatever you want on it, but make sure you write down what we're thankful for. So we used markers and these fall themed little I'm thankful for cards. And we just colored and we went around and said what we were thankful for. And right now on mine, I put that I am thankful for Jesus, family, and food. <laughs> 